this fear has got a hold on me. Um, That's not good. Let me, let, me, let me make this clear to you. Don't punch me or get mad at me. Uh-oh. But you hoisted yourself by your own petard. Yeah, what? you might want to clear that up for those who have never heard that expression. Hoisted by your own petard? Yeah, because I didn't know it till you used it on me. You said that you wanted to do the podcast with the kids in the other room. And I said, let's get someone that just can take them out for a little bit of an adventure. And you said, let's do the podcast with the kids in the other room. And so then when we got into it before the podcast, because the kids were being very demanding. No, that's that, not what happened. That is what happens when you are hoisted by your own petard. Okay, I know you're very hands on high hips on a pedestal of rightness right now. My hands. But may I paint a little bit of a different scenario? Please, the canvas is yours, my love. Thank you. I'm hangry. <laughs> you're hangry? That's all that's happening. Oh, you're hangry right now. Oh, yeah. Because you're hungry, angry. Because we had two little league games, straight to rushing home, changing, doing this face up Yeah. for the those who watch. Thanks, guys. That's right. And came over here, and we're at our friend's studio, and I found ice cream in the freezer. So I'm on sugar, on an empty stomach, a cup of coffee, antibiotics, and uh, the kids are hungry, too, because you, I gave you... Have some you, peanut butter. This will shut you no, up No, that'll be like... <laughs> I'll be like a dog. You know when you give a dog peanut butter? They're like <laughs> working at for. it for a good 15 minutes. I'll just be slopping around on the That's pot. what I was hoping for. So anyway, the kids are eating like popcorn and green olives. You're hangry. And I'm just hangry. Actually, the kids were not demanding. But, but they were totally you know normal. that this is my art? And when you arrive hangry, hangry <clears> in my <throat> art, I create this You're podcast. You're the one who scheduled it on the Saturday afternoon, Because... Moo has soccer or something tomorrow. I gave you three tomorrow. weeks notice. Because Moo has soccer and everyone else has gone. Is it not soccer? You had soccer, right? Moo's our cameraman. Well, and my, and my buddy. He helps us out. I'm just referring to who you're talking to right now. Yes. Uh, Moo has soccer and you're hangry. So I tried to leave during the baseball game so I could... That was my plan was, oh my God, we're filming this right after two Little League games? Are you high? I tried not to make this happen. This podcast happened during two Little League games, but it, there was no choice. We had to do it today. Today yeah. was the day. Tomorrow's wide open. There's no one to help out with the camera. I can't yeah. do it all myself. Yeah. So anyway, I'm hangry. And that's really all there is. I, I got ready as fast as I could. I even did my makeup this morning at 6.30. 6 a.m. We were up, we up at 6 a.m. You were up at 6 a.m. I was up at 5 a.m. I was up at 4 a.m. I was up at 5 a.m. Mine's worse. I'm just kidding. I was up at 5 a.m. because I set my alarm for 6 and Apple no longer can tell time. No, it's weird. There's something going on with Did the Did you phones. have this move? The a Apple just yesterday morning. set your alarm for 6 a.m.? It sets. It goes off at 5 a.m. And yesterday morning, it was 6.13 a.m. Sorry, I, I have this like bronchitis that's lasted for four weeks. That's, Excuse me one sec. That's the... Oh, no. Mute. <laughs> We're going to mute that. We'll mute it. Don't anyway, worry. Mark the note on the location There's some congestion time. happening if I don't sound like Jenna myself. I'm sounds like a trucker sometimes around the house, like a trucker. No, it's really bad. It's something's going around, and a lot of people have it, and I don't usually get it, but this is four weeks. First time you've been sick in years. <clears throat> Anyhow, um, <laughs> oh, I'll totally excuse myself if I go into one of my coughing fits. But anyway... I lost my train of thought. You what were up saying? at 4 a.m. Apple. Oh, no. Okay. Apple. So yesterday morning, it was 6.13, and my iPhone said 7.13. And then you set your alarm for 6, 6 a.m., and it went off at 5. 5 even, and I even looked at the iPhone to see, why is it going off? And it said 6 a.m., but it was going off at 5 a.m. Like, well, we like both Luna. did the newest update, too. Do, do, so you, have, do you have... Boo. The, what's the guy's name who runs it? The guy who runs... Apple? Uh, Tim, Cook. Tim Cook. Do you have his email address? S Cook. Hey, at Tim Cook, com. the update. Update. Some problems. And also, Tim, just but You know the what? There's another update. I feel like I just updated it, and now there's another update but three days later. But since we're talking to Tim right now, and he's listening, so hey, we've Tim. got Tim's attention, I just want to let you know, Tim, you we're, we're Tim. wise to this whole thing where you get an update that doesn't work. And it fucks your phone, fucks so you have your to buy phone, the new so you have one. To buy the new phone. Don't think that I haven't figured it out, Tim. Don't think that I haven't figured that out. Honey, we're not the first people to talk about this. Well, we're not the first people no, to do a rant but about you know what? the whole... But we'll be the fucking last because Tim is going to wise... He's going to wise up. Yo, Tim, help us out here. Wise up with your fucking... We're oh, big Apple here's a little update family. for you. Oh, it doesn't... Your phone doesn't work? Well, you can spend $1,000 for the new one 
they're, they literally wipe their ass with $1,000 bills at Apple. They're like, the toilet paper rolls are just $1,000 bills. And we're responsible for that. I have a wife complaint. No, you don't. It couldn't be impossible. Um, it be impossible. Okay, so this morning when your alarm... I was awake because Easton had hit his head on the wall while he was sleeping. It was like, mama. That's what that was? Uh-huh. I heard that in my sleep. So I want to tell you what else I heard as I was trying to fall back to sleep at 5 a.m. when your alarm went off at 6 a.m. What'd you hear? So your alarm goes off. My alarm goes off. Okay, there's a little bit... I have like a, a few complaints no, on things that perhaps are nuances oh that God. you can maybe... Oh my God. Smooth out, if you will, as a husband. Moi? Yeah. Okay. Is I, why is my voice so high? Because you're guilty and you know it. Okay. You, I know how like I'm a clomper with my feet, you're right? We talked about that in a, you're a clomper. couple podcasts. Yeah. Ago. You clomp. So you have a very strange need to make sure that other people wake up if you're awake. Oh. Is that where my oldest son gets that from? <laughs> where yeah. once he's awake, he feels that everyone in the house should be awake? Yeah. So the alarm goes off. I'm in sharing the twin bed with my our youngest, trying to get him back to sleep. I just got him back to sleep 15 minutes before mm. your alarm goes off. Mm. And you go, mm. what the hell? Oh my God. God. And you make this whole... Gashrai. Over my alarm going off, right? Yeah. But it was kind of like you wanted me to be awake too for it. or Here's what I thought. Or sometimes you'll, you, when you can't sleep or you have insomnia, you come, and I can't even hardly like accuse you of clomping because I'm the biggest clomper, but you'll fumble on your bedside table items <laughs> to get your iPad, your headphones, to go out to the thing. Yes. And you have like a whole about it if it was any more truthful what you're saying i would be able to that that doesn't work yes it's truthful <laughs> yes, yeah it's so true. can you explain it to me oh sure so that i can understand why and then you then get mad at me if i'm like tired and dramatic when like you woke me up so. well i don't get any sleep because you insist, put it down yeah because you insist on your fucking dog no matter how many times I've said lock the dog up. put him in the cage. Lock the dog up because what he does past four in the morning is you he didn't jumps. You did answer. No, no, no. I, I'm gonna Before get, you jump I'm onto going to get, the dog guilt, I just thought please I would. answer. Okay, okay, okay. I tried it. I tried my it. My first hey, accusation. Hey, hey, come on. I tried that. It's a good is I thought a, maybe I'd talk about the dog. She the dogs the dog. are very itchy. The and dogs they do have scratch and fucking jump. yeast infections. They're very yes. itchy. Okay, I thought I could slip in the dog thing. No. But you picked up on it. Okay, so here's what happened this morning. The alarm went off at 5 a.m. Other mornings. I thought it was 6 a.m. We got that. And I heard you awake. I was laying there silently no, in no, Easton's no. bed. No, you were doing something in your office. I heard it. Don't lie I, to me. I didn't touch my office. What are you talking you about? You were doing something. I heard something. No, I was laying silently in Easton's bed. God damn it, Jenna Elfman. I heard something. And so I thought, oh, everybody's up. Well, I'm the last one up. You probably heard Rocco walk from our bedroom to the kid's bedroom. The dog. It was the fucking dog. And so yeah. I thought everybody was up. So not knowing that it was 5 a.m., thinking that it was 6 a.m., I thought I was the last one up. Not sure I buy it. But that's what I thought. And then as far as what happens when I make noises in the middle of the night, that's just because, I don't know. <laughs> is it a little bit of husband evil? I don't think it is. Because I have a little bit of wife evil. See, I think that there is husband and wife evilness. Yeah, I that's don't particular that that's- to your spouse, like where you kind of get a little evil with your spouse, but nobody else on specific things. I'm, I'm going to cop to one after you tell me how evil you are. So I can be... I'm less evil now. I've gotten so much You're better. You're almost not evil at all. I'm pretty much full evil, and I'll explain why, but I'm going to let you talk, and then I'll tell you mine. Okay. Because mine's pretty fucked up. Because I was scrolling... It's, and it's not about waking you up. That's not it. Okay. Okay. I thought maybe it fell into that category, because no. I was scrolling through some pictures, some past old pictures, and I found a picture of me, that a selfie that I took... Mm-hmm. Of me laughing so hard, I had tears running down. Like, I was hysterical. And it was when (laughs) we were at this, like, natural doctor guy. And you were in the other room getting your very first colonic. (laughs) But the door was cracked open a little. Oh, no. I can't do this. I can barely take what's happening right now. (laughs) I can barely take this story. Oh, no. Uh, maybe, I'll get, maybe I'll get lucky and her, br- and her bronchial infection will send her into a choking. <clears throat> because if, if I can get her to laugh, 
This oh, it'll go I'm into off the a, hook. a coughing yeah. fit, and then I'm I'm in, I'm outside. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna hear a story. But I'm gonna try in some way to get her to laugh because Please I know don't. once she laughs, she's out. Her her bronchial infection will get the best of her, and she'll be done. So four week bronchial infection. Anybody else have that? What the heck is going on? Anyway, um, so we're at this guy, and you go in for a colonic. This is my first colonic ever. You guys know what a colonic is? It's where they stick a tube up your ass. Shove they water up into your Shove water in the tube and they flush it out. And then reverse flush it the, out. the vacuum <laughs> and it pulls the caca. It squirts water up your ass, cleans out your intestines, and then sucks it out. And it is by far the most uncomfortable feeling a human body <laughs> will ever have. And here's why. <laughs> Before I tell the story. <laughs> I got her. Here's why. You know the feeling... <coughs> You know the feeling right before yeah. you have a diarrhea attack? Yes. Okay. That panic. That panic, that sweat. It's like you, the Austin Powers. Like, you, I'm getting so emotional. Where you, it's like the Austin Powers. Yeah. I'm getting emotional. Like yeah. that moment. Where where you, like, but where you know the sphincter is going to open and it's going to pour out diarrhea. Yeah. Imagine that sensation, but you're lying on your back with a doctor <laughs> at your asshole. So you don't even have the emotion of the safety of a fresh toilet. Or the you. privacy of that. You're in a room like, where you can be in a room by yourself and like it's make a room your facial gestures. with a doctor and sometimes an assistant with a tube in your ass. So it isn't diarrhea, but that's the feeling once they shove the water in and your bowels are filling with water. And you're, he kept telling me, you got to loosen up. You got to loosen oh, up. We've been hearing that from others for years. I, ha I have like part A and part okay. B of this story. All right, you should go ahead. Not of this story, but of this area, because what you just said about loosen up is a whole phase two of the story that I want to mm -hmm. reference. Yes. Okay. 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 So can I just like tab that? Tabbed it. Duly noted on the my, like on others my anus. telling you my tight anus. Duly noted on the tab to chill. My anus has been tabbed. Okay. Um, and the other thing that I need to reference is that the You're sunscreen gonna... situation on your face. Is it still there? Of course it is. <laughs> Because you're a complete moron on the subject of facial sunscreen and Little League. But that's that's a tab two. What I love okay, about so the word moron tabs. is that it's a technical term that means like having an IQ around 50. On the subject of your facial sunscreen, you have a it's moronic like have, level it's IQ. It's like I have a IQ of 50, as if I don't recognize. No, we've gone over it. I've had, like, please. It's because I use organic sunscreen. It doesn't blend. I'm Continue. I'm going to chemical you up. <laughs> okay but it doesn't but, matter for little league if you look that way we're but on we, anus wait you've gone off of I know, my moron I'm trying to tab i'm scared i'm gonna forget it anus tab more moron okay. is later anus tab is now okay okay the moron no we're on anus tab <laughs> no but i had to oh it's the others telling okay so that's the anus tab is anus others tab. telling you to chill anus tab anus tab moron tab okay okay what's all right and others telling me to chill so listening to you mm -hmm. Make your sounds. My sounds. I think you didn't realize that we all could hear you. Oh, I was so highly uncomfortable. I didn't care if I was being televised for <laughs> Earth. I, I was in a moment of the most uncomfortable. Bo it, it was like World War Three for me. Okay, but it was the most entertaining thing to listen to because you're like, oh, God. Oh, what? Now? Okay, wait, wait, whoa, 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 It's not even funny whoa, whoa, whoa. to me. Like, it's so uncomfortable. It's not even funny to me. I'm not even enjoying it. It's so uncomfortable. It's the control freak. Like, he's a little bit of a control freak, okay? See, Mo did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see Moo nod his head? Moo's Canadian. This even, goes into the anus tab, okay, of the, like, others telling you to chill. It, it goes into the, like, overly controlling situation. Moo has no idea what he's talking about. Which goes into the anus thing, which then slides over into part C of my anus tab. Part C. We got to make notes. There's too many things now. Okay. So, um, because he's a bit controlling, he was extraordinarily... Besides, okay, there's the discomfort of a colonic, which is legit. It is awful. Though you seem to enjoy it and have no problem with it. I do not enjoy it. The, the, no, I'm never getting another colonic ever again. But you seem to be like, yeah, you just stick the tube up your ass and it fills up with water. Your, your bowels fill up with water and then you let it flush out. You're, like, you're really good at it. No, that's your interpretation because that's all you... You only listen to part of what I say, so that's just what you've grafted from my experience of colonics. All I'm saying is that I'm not used to things going in and out of my ass. At, well, in my ass. And neither are you for that matter. I've known you for, for most of your life, and you're not... Neither of us are, have any type of anal activity happening other than the normal body functions that occur with life following food consumption. Yet you seem to have no problem with colonics. 
And for me, the idea of something going in my ass, the tube, was highly uncomfortable. I'm aware. It's, that's the story I'm telling. God. Continue. Should we slide over to the anal tab now of uh, neurotic? I don't know why you're so. Why are you highly so good at Highly overly it? controlling. What, what did you get involved with when you were 19 when I met you? So you're many years back. Why are you so good at this whole thing? At what whole thing? The, the colonics, things going in the ass. <laughs> it's the purpose. Okay. I like the purpose, but I don't now because then I had my appendix rupture and I'm pretty sure it was from a prior colonic mm. that shoved some stuff into the appendix area. It got jammed and then my mm. appendix ruptured. And I, were, ha- I actually think it was from getting colonics. I, I do too. And I'll tell you why. Because you were too aggressive with the colonics. I remember it. I remember it. You would get aggressive and you'd say, go, go Who's long. Who's aggressive go right f- now? Jesus. Aggressive. Can you'd you tell like, the story without like the Gashrai level being I d- so high? I just remember there's like a certain, there's a certain like assometer that the doctor has where it's like how much water is going in your asshole. No, I did. And that one I was like, he's like, I'm going to crank it up. I was like, I could take it. And then... <laughs> My freaking appendix ruptured two I mean. months later. Is I is I I or shut whatever it, off it was at like the level where it's like at the level like not even started yet. I was like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I and heard you. So uh, it made me laugh listening to you because you were like, whoa, 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 whoa. Because then you're controlled. You were vulnerable with a tube up your <laughs> you butt. You're telling me to loosen water my asshole muscle. In. And you're like, loosen. I can't loosen. How do I loosen? Is it going to come out? I feel like I got a shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Ah. Oh. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Well, that's it, right? So now what do I do? Do I have to go to the bathroom? Do I get off the table? Oh. Oh. Like it was this whole thing. To only listen, not be able to see it, but imagine what he looked like oh, oh it was wonderful oh my God. so i found the selfie of me in absolute you took a wi- selfie of yourself while it was happening oh yeah and i texted it to jenny johnson because i was telling her what was happening because it was so wife evil satisfying oh of like God. that little like evilness as a wife when you know like <sighs> i loved the idea that you were suffering on that table getting a colonic <laughs> because the humor level it's not like true evil, but it was so like the humor level it's mixed like, with the vulnerability of you on it's that like table. Alien autopsy. It's like a cold <laughs> table with a tube in your ass, and the doctor saying, "Loosen your asshole muscle so I can get the water in." And I'm going, "If I loosen my asshole muscle, it's all gonna shoot out all over you." And he's like, "No, it's not." And I'm like, "I don't want to loosen my asshole muscle." He's like, "You have to let it go. I have to get the water in so it can." clean out your bowel and let it out and I didn't want to do it and I couldn't even get like he was so annoyed with me I couldn't even get to the level where it's like he's got that like I said mentioned that assometer thing and it's how much water that had gone in me was at the level it's like it's not even starting yet it's, <laughs> it's like the level that it should be at when you're doing the ta- that asshole test <laughs> and I yeah. couldn't do it which slides so that the fact that he was getting so annoyed with you oh, slides us into you I need to relax it. yes I, I, my anus gets so tight it gets so tight in life. Figuratively in and literally. Yes. I just have a fucking, I am uptight. <laughs> I wish Moo was on camera right now. Because when I said Bodhi's control freak, Moo's sitting there looking at the monitor on the camera and he's like. <clears throat> so oh. this is the thing I want to slide into. And now it's not just going to be an attack okay, Bodhi. Saying, I love how it's when we're slide doing into. Anus that we keep talking about it sliding into. Okay, I'm going like to maneuver horizontally to tenth my time you've said slide into go ahead slide into the slide out of the, into out of the, the, the anus story. category into the story okay so and you can totally give this back mm-hmm. your version of it about me okay um i know i need a manicure everyone oh stop. it's bad no no no, no it's really bad it's no one's gonna notice so bad but anyone's looking at your nails oh well, I'm sure they are, and that's okay. I know. I just want you to know it's on the books. I scheduled a manicure. Okay? Right after the colonic. Um, so, there's this husband-wife thing, and I really want to know mm-hmm. um, what the version of it is for me, because mm-hmm. I think it's funny. Mm-hmm. So, we all have these little blind spots in our personality where we do things like some people have like gigantic blind spots that are as big as the Grand Canyon, mm-hmm. but then some people are a little more self aware and they're like a little familiar. They're blind spots, but then they learn, they do, they become less blind and then they fix them, right? Yeah. If you're an evolving human being. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I'm becoming more aware of certain blind spots in my personality traits. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And. There's so we've talked about like how I get kind of priestly and preachy sometimes, like mm-hmm. like life lesson. Like I'll be in so a conversation anymore. and then I go right into a life lesson you of like, a lot. Yeah. yeah, 
So I try not to do that anymore. And I've noticed see other people who do that too. I have some girlfriend. I think it might be a female thing. Like, well, yeah, let me take this moment to like make the world the better. The female definitely wants the conch to like, yeah. to like have the, have the cave meeting. Yeah. It's definitely a female thing to like, I've got this all figured out. We need to discuss it for the next five hours. Yeah. Someone hand me the conch. Yeah. Whereas the male is like, Ugh. God. Yeah. I don't want to talk about No, because even my kids get annoyed with me. They're like, can you just get to the point? The womp, don't, what? <sighs> All right, go okay. ahead. So there is a thing that I observe, mm-hmm. and it's in the area of the Geshrai control Geshrai is a Jewish word for very dramatic. It's a Yiddish word for very dramatic. Like kind of controlling. In a crazy dramatic way. Where I see other people mm-hmm. get a little like, when you go there. Oh. Oh, no. Is this a, if this is something that happened in baseball today, that's going to be very hard for me to take. Uh, not today. Oh. I'm weak and I'm vul- very vulnerable with baseball, with my kid's baseball team right now. He's we're, coaching we're, Little we're, League. We're 0-5. We're 0-5, and, and I'm very vulnerable with it. If you're going to talk about something that I did during the baseball game. No, I'm not. Okay, then I'm okay. Then I can handle anything. No. I can handle anything, but I can't handle the fact that my baseball team is 0-5. <laughs> That's fine. And I understand. And they went 0-5 today. They went from 0-4 to 0-5 today. And if you're going to talk about something with that, then I don't want to hear about it. But please, if it's not that, I can no. take it. I can take it. It's just like when you see other people go, what is it? Out with it. No, just when there's like Are you saying there's something a, that a I high do? high level need to control things a ton. Oh, so you're saying And then when you see when me as a wife, when I as a wife, I me as a wife, when I see other people go like have a reaction to, to it. To me being in high control. Yes. Did that happen recently? Well, it happens often. Yeah, but is there a particular incident that maybe Yeah, let you... me try and be specific. You don't have to be. No, it's good to be specific because I don't want to be general, but, but it's okay. I'm also hangry, I, and so my brain's not working. You are hangry, but I can take it. I can take it because I do try to control things. Which I think you don't realize sometimes the force with which you go after things. And I'm not trying to like be that evil person that's like, settle down, use less I get energy. Because that's get just it. straight no, no, up you're not asshole. Saying that. You're saying just less... Less I feel forceful like, control. Yeah. And I wish Moo could come on and talk right now. No, Do you can't. know what I'm talking about, Moo? No, Moo's not allowed to have any t- part of this podcast. Okay, He's, okay I get it. Where it's I like, it. I feel like there's sort of, there's ways you could go about um, securing an environment to function optimally mm-hmm. versus like what feels like overly forceful neuroses of I control. I love this podcast because I get to be told about the shit that because I'm on camera, I'm not going to be defensive. If this was in life, I would be all defensive and all like attitude but because the camera's on, I have to keep my fucking PR in for the public, so I have to take it like a man. And then I, because I can take it, I can agree with you. And okay. I do agree with you. Okay. I do. What are you going to do about it? I think I need to, I think I need to move to Hawaii for a about eight months. That's about. I, I've thought about this a lot lately. I think I need to disappear off the grid. I was watching a documentary, uh, you know, about guys that sort of go off the grid sometimes. Is this like your second midlife crisis? I realize now the first one wasn't a midlife crisis. Ooh, I just was going crazy. I was just going crazy with the kids. This is now the midlife crisis. Yeah, and it works out age wise. The first one I was too young. I, I knew that it wasn't. I even said before it was a pre midlife crisis. I'm having it now. Now it's happening because now I don't want to run off. The other one was like, I just wanted to... Yeah, can, I, I don't yeah, know right, okay. about it. Because I, I actually don't want to screw chicks. And I act, what I actually just want to do is I just want to be by myself on like an island with waterfalls and trails. And I just want to live off the land. And I don't, and I don't want to think about anything very big with the family. I don't want to deal with your shit. I don't want to deal with my kids' shit. I just want to like, I just want to move to Hawaii. And I want to get land that's de- dedicated to agriculture. <laughs> So I'm forced to farm. And I, I, yeah, I, that's a midlife crisis. Yeah, I think I'm really having it. I, I thought a midlife crisis would be like, you want to you know, you sleep with a thing and then go with the girl. No, no interest. I, I really just want to be by myself. I want to be by myself. C- can I? <laughs> can I, please? Can I just have like eight months to just be by myself? Can you just take over everything with the kids? I'll make a ton of money, though. If I make a ton of money, a ton of money, so you can just... How are you going to make a ton of money living off agriculture in Hawaii? No, 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 no. 
Jesus. I, I'm going to make the ton of Coconuts money Coconuts don't cost that much. Well, I'm going to make a ton of money. A ton. Doing and, what? Uh, well, well, we'll talk about that after the podcast. And then, and then I go to Hawaii. So then you're just left to just be like a, a, a cared for wife. You can just have like a, a team of nannies that surround you and cooks and chefs. I don't need a chefs. fucking team of nannies. Of course you don't need it, but I mean. I I'll don't give want it, it. I know, but I'll supply. I'll just, it'll just be a, an unlimited bank account that you just have an ATM I'll take party. an unlimited bank account. I don't want a team good. of nannies. I don't okay, need good. that shit. I want to be with my kids. Good. I agree because you're hands on I'll mom. I'll take one okay, nanny good. so that if I want to go for a jog, I can. Yeah, because I just don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with brushing uh-huh. teeth. I don't want to deal with trying to get them to eat. I don't want to deal with putting them to bed. I don't want to deal but with But here's anything. the thing. I don't want to deal with your shit. But don't you th- I don't want to do anything. Let me let's just this is a a bit of a scientific got, got approach here up. with like uh, I don't know if it's it's not physics cuz it doesn't have to do with like the motion or but it is an engineer. Maybe it's an engineering approach that I'm going to take with you right now. Okay. Or maybe it is physics. I don't know like what category this falls into. But maybe it's not all the things. What? Maybe it's you and your ability to deal with them. Of course it is. So why do There's you There's nothing wrong with anybody because else. Because if you go away, let me just tell you, if you go to Hawaii... It'll all be better. <laughs> you're going to find a whole new slew of shit to get neurotic and controlling about. Cut to me with arguments of, with coconut farmers. Yeah, you're going to be like... <laughs> totally. Uh, you'll get into a whole thing. I know. And it's it'll be the airlines. Me. It'll be the house that it's you're in. It's going to be... The- That's why like when people get divorced because they're, they have a great marriage... Or a great relationship, or a great significant other, and but they're leaving because they have all these criticisms about the other. I always think in my head, it's just gonna follow you it's to the next one. Follow you, oh yeah, follow you the next Absolutely. one. Absolutely, I know that. But can I at least entertain the thought of just growing uh, agro land? Entertain any thought you want. I'm just telling you, the happiness lies within you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not outward in, it's inward out. Yes. Yes. Don't you have that tattoo? Right? I think you should follow your tattoo's advice. It's enough within. It's, it's Plenty it's, within. It says, satis. Your intis. cup doth be full of life. It, Plenty it, for your satis environment. Intis means, satis means sufficient, fulfilled, complete. Intis, of course, means within. So clearly, I must have tattooed on myself some reminder that I have enough within. Maybe put it in the wrong place. <laughs> I, should have put it, I should have put it on my anus. <laughs> no, you'd never see it then. <laughs> well, my head's pretty far oh, up there. Oh, because your head's up there. Yeah, I would have yeah. seen it all the time. Satis intis, I would have reminded myself yeah. enough within. That was the problem with the clonic, is I had way more than enough going within, and I needed to just let it out. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how we just took the perfect, complete circle on this podcast? Satis intis, enough within. Way too much going in my asshole. <laughs> I just need to fucking let it out. And according to you, I just need to loosen up and let it in. Let it in the anus. Let it just, let life just flow into the anus no, and take it if in. No, because if there's, if, if you know, because you're amazing, right? You're amazing. You're a very bright, very competent fellow. Mm-hmm. But like... <laughs> <laughs> it's the grace of using those abilities totally. within the other people in I, your environment I, to accomplish those ends that your brilliance has you see and understand. It's just how you go. It's just the grace. I think you speak sooth. I do speak sooth. I think it's true. Let it in. Let it in the asshole. Uh, and if well, you I think I was misunderstood no, just now, I got it. It's the I got it all. But I'm doing a podcast, so I'm not gonna like get make it too. And, and if you didn't have whooping cough, I'd give you a big kiss. I don't have whooping cough. <laughs> Though I was doing research on YouTube to make sure I didn't have whooping cough. But I don't have whooping cough. Well, I love you. And I had my booster shot, but I, I think it expired. Yeah. Well, I love you. And I'm giving you a metaphysical kiss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love you. 